Yes, you're watching Gluey's Mood Food again. This is another one of the family members. And we're going to tempt your taste buds. And until the food's done, I'm just going to lay here. another webisode of Glue's Mood Food. Oh yeah, I already preemptively started something. This is Paula and today we are going to be making for you what you are going to absolutely love. It's comfort food. It's beautiful. We are going to be making a Glue's Beef and Veggie Meat Pie. Okay? Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Hey, the cat's even loving it. You know, you can pan down to her if you want. Uh, what we have for you right now, already started. Just want to show you just a bit. You can see the... The good stuff rising off of it. But we have a um, beef and we have a veggie stock. Okay? We already preemptively started that. Now... I got probably about a pound, pound and a half of a round top steak or um, roast. I'm sorry, round top roast. I love my steak. I'm sorry, I can't help it. But what we're going to do with this, we've had this simmering here with the uh, the stock for a while and it goes a little and I ran it back out <laughs> but what we're gonna do is I'm gonna turn this up a little bit we've got the oven preemptively heated right now to about 375 okay the stock has been going as a beef and it's a veggie stock it's just been kind of doing its thing and hanging out for a while, okay? We'll talk about that later. But I put a couple swirls, like two, three swirls at best, of the olive oil in the pan. I'm going to turn it up a little bit right now because what we're going to do is this beautiful meat that we're working with for this veggie pie. And believe me, this beef and veggie pie is out of this world. We're going to salt it. Yeah, well, I'll use my tongs. Oh, I'll get your hands in there. Get your hands get in your there. Get your hands in there. Get your hands in there. Well, Come on. I'll use, use my tongs. All right. I'm going to salt it again right there, and then I'm going to turn it. Turn it. And I'll put me some just basic black pepper there on it. I'm gonna turn it again. I'm gonna turn it again. And I'll put some basic black pepper on it. Now this is a, a very inexpensive cut of meat, which is a beautiful thing. You can do a huge amount of this if you wanted to. Okay? But we're doing this because it's us. And we're going to make two pies out of this. And we're going to make two pies out of this. Oh, so yeah. We got our olive oil really heating up here in the pan. That's not much. Mm. But what we want to do and what you always want to do with any kind of meat that you're going to put in it to any kind of um, pot roast or anything of that nature. You always want to sear it off. It gives more flavor to the meal. Okay? So we're going to take this and you're going to hear it sizzling. And what we're going to do is do all sides. So are you ready for the sizzle? Give me oh, the sizzle. Give me the sizzle. Let me hear it. Okay. 
as you sizzle. Okay, we're going to sizzle all sides of this. Okay? We've got our stock happening. We've got... Oh, it smells our, good. Uh, yes, we've got our roast happening here. And we are going to put this into that eventually with all the other good things that are going to come along. But you got to wait for that. Okay? Just like we do. you got to wait like we do. Come on. Mwah. Hey. You know, it's worth the wait. It's worth every second of the wait. And I just want to show you what, what you do. Even though we got a non-stick skillet here, and we have like a twirl or two of extra virgin olive oil in here, I just want to check it. Just check it a second. I'm just letting you know in case you don't know. Just check it a second. And when it starts moving on its own, hey, you're ready to turn because that side is already brown. Look at that. Look at that cut right there. I just want to show you that. Don't turn it until it's loose. Don't rush it. Oh, see, I didn't rush the other side either. Now we got all these sides to do right here. We're going to continue in this. And when we get back, we are going to put this pie together for you, which is a Galoo's Beef and Veggie Meat Pie. Stay tuned. Stay with us. You're watching another webisode of the Galoo's Mood Food. How you doing? <laughs> Stick with us. Hey everybody, we're back. It's Paula. This smell is absolutely wonderful and it's it's nowhere done at this point in time, but it smells so good. Check this out. It's unbelievable. It's just a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper. And we've had this at probably a medium high heat. Cutting it off now, but what you want to do is brown. Oh my God, look at that. Just brown all sides of this roast. And there's a reason for it. It's the flavoring, okay? It just seals it in, all right? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to our stock that we had told you about earlier. Oh, look at me all. Oh, oh fancy are you fancy. Everything like, you know. I'll just dump the extra stuff on there. Get a little more sizzle there. I'm not going to put that in this thing. I'm just going to set it off to the side right now because we're going to use it again. All right. Now, this is our big, beautiful, rich, and hearty, thick base to pull this whole meal together and it is very thick and rich and hearty and look at look at the steam coming off of that i've had it cooking for a while okay so what we're going to do is we're going to take look at that mm. these big beautiful pieces of meat we've already cut our oven on to 375 to 400 depending on your oven okay um whether it be electric or a gas but you know your oven we don't we know ours so 375 to 400 and we're gonna put that beautiful roast meat in that gorgeous gorgeous liquid gold Mwah broth okay I'm gonna show you a little something else right now okay real quick real quick take a little bit of this broth out that you have here put it in there swirl that out hey there's no bits wasted 
There are no bits wasted. So you swirl that, get all that good stuff from the meat that was in there, and you pour it back in. Didn't take much, did it? No, not at all. Now we're going to put the lid back on this. Okay? This is going to make two of the meat pies that we're talking about. Now, that's hot back there. The oven is very hot. I'm going to put this in on the top shelf, top rack of our oven for about 15 to 20 minutes at 375, 400. But what you want to do is kind of keep an eye on it because every oven is different. Um, you want it to come to a boil. And when it does, turn it down and low and slow. Okay? You got that already. You know you did. Low and slow. And we will see you back as soon as this does its thing in the oven. Again, you're watching Bluey's Mood Food. Stay tuned. That's temp right. Okay. Stay tuned to Glue's Moon Food. We will be back and we'll be making for you Glue's beef and veggie meat pie. See you in a few. Hey everyone, we're back again. We've got our um, Glue's beef and veggie meat pie. We had our, our uh, stock and our, our beef cooking low and slow the meat fell apart this is what you're going to get look at that look at this isn't that beautiful I'm going to have a bite too I'll tell you that gorgeous mm. oh gorgeous that is good that is good right there flavor mm. Now we started off, we had that a little bit more of the beef stock. We added a little bit more beer to the stock we already started with. You may have to do the same. That's okay. Um, we got our beef. We got our stock. It's heating up right now. We're going to thicken it up with, um, um, this is about four cups of stock right here. And we're going to thicken it up with some cornstarch and we added some beef stock to it. Make sure it's cold beef stock. Don't add the hot beef stock because it'll clump right up. So I got my... Bring it to a boil. Yes. But we, I got my um, cornstarch and my stock here. We're bringing this to a boil right now to... What we're going to do is we're going to get this nice and thick. We got our meat. Get yourself a can of peas, a can of diced carrots, and get yourself two cans of whole white potatoes. Now get the whole ones. Don't get the sliced ones. This is a little cut from your uncle. No, your Z. Oh, okay. From your Z Julius, because if you get the if you get the whole, you actually get more potato. You get the sliced ones, you're getting more water. I'm just telling you straight out, get the whole ones. Even if you're don't need the sliced or diced, get the whole ones, slice them and dice them yourself because you're gonna get more potato for your buck. And that's what we did. We got the whole potatoes. I got some cut already. We're just gonna cut these into chunks. Zoom it in. Just like that. And we use chunks. If you want to use slice, that's fine. Whatever you want to do for your meat pie. We do chunks because we believe that's what actually tastes better. Okay? So I've got my potatoes here. I'm going to put them with the rest of it. I got my stock, it's heating up, I'm going to turn it up a little bit more. 
you want to get the stock to a boil because that's what what actually thickens it when you add your um, what do you call that stuff we're putting in here? Roux. Corn starch. Roux. Roux, corn starch. Uh, thickener. Thickener. And what we did was we actually took the meat out of the stock after it was nice and cooked. If you have pieces of fat or anything that's actually flavor in that, you don't want it in your meat pie. So take your meat, crumble, and, and shred it. Get the fat out of there. Give it to the animals outside or the birds. They're going to love it. But I got this heated. I'm going to stir up my cornstarch with my beef stock here and I'm going to slowly add this you can see it's boiling look at that you can see it's boiling slowly just slowly add it you don't want no clumps of of this cornstarch you want to thicken all this up if we have to make more, we're going to have to make more. Well, I think this will do it. No, as long as you bring it to a boil. That's it. We're going to put that in. You can see it's thickening up right now. And I'll put this in here. I might make a little bit more because I don't think this is going to be kind of thick enough, but just let it cook down a little bit. So while this is cooking down and thickening up, you stick with us. We're going to add all these great ingredients together in, in, in a, let me show you. We're going to put them in this here, a uh, big old pot. I'm going to add all these ingredients together and what then we're pot? going to start up our meat pie. Can't see. This here pot here. There you go. It's a nice, well, this is our metal bowl. If you've got a, a bowl that's bigger than this that is ceramic, God bless you. We don't have it. So I'm going to let this um, cook down and thicken up. You stick with us. And we're going to put this pie together. What we're going to use to top it off is a, we bought already pre-done um, pie topping, pie shell, whatever you want to call it. Pie crust. Pie crust, that's fine. Um, we make things easy here. So, you stick around, you're watching Gluey's Mood Food. This is Gluey's Veggie or a meat, a beef and veggie pie. You're gonna love this, this is so tasty. Your family's gonna love it, you stick around. I'm gonna get this going here. Okay, we're back. We've added a little bit more corn, uh, corn starch and, and uh, stock, beef stock. Uh, we got our, our stock in our pan to a nice consistency and this is about what you want it to be. Look at this, that's what you want. You want it nice and thick. Nice and thick. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we turned our heat off. We're just going to let this sit for one second. We're going to put our, our beef together here. We're going to put that right in this pan here. Ooh. And I think what I'm going to have to do is actually get a, because it's going to be hot. We're going to add our potatoes. One can of peas. Boom, boom, boom. One can of carrots. These are sliced. All drained. All drained, yeah. Make sure everything is drained. I'm going to stir this one more time. And we're just going to pour this right over top of everything. Oh, look at that. Let me get one of these here just to get all that beautiful. And this is a rich, rich, rich. If I was this rich, I'd be uh, 
I'd be a happy man. Be in Disneyland. I'd be in Disneyland. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> this is a rich, rich broth. And it's basically... Well, you're going to have to get our cookbook that we're going to be coming out with pretty soon. I'm going to show you exactly what is in this. But it's basically just beef stock and veggies. Herbs. And some great herbs. And we're going to get all this out. And we're just going to start mixing this all together here. Nice and easy. You don't want to break anything up. Beautiful. Beautiful. Look at this. Yes, it's this right one. on it. Beautiful. Look at that. We're just going to let all this incorporate for a couple minutes. I'm going to stir this up. And then we're going to put it in our, our pot pan. And we're going to put our... Our pie crust right on top of this. So while I'm doing this, we're going to let this sit for about 5 to 10 minutes just to cool down just a little bit because it's really hot. So while I'm doing this, y'all stick around. Have yourself a beer. Make cooking fun. If you don't have fun cooking, there's really no sense you in doing it. You ain't having fun. You ain't having fun. So while this is, while I'm doing this, Salute. Lick a spoon. Mm. I'd lick a spoon, but my my tongue would probably melt to this right now. So mm, yeah, it would. So I'm just gonna get this all. Like I said, look at that. That I'm just incorporating all this meat and vegetables. And like I said, we're gonna put this in the oven. All the vegetables are already cooked, so you don't have to worry about cooking this forever in a day. We're gonna be cooking this probably for maybe. 15 minutes to a half hour at 350 uh, just until that uh, pie crust on top gets nice and brown because everything is pretty much cooked. What about the slow cooker? Well, if you're doing a slow cooker and you want to put your beef in a slow cooker, just your beef with your with your uh, with your stock and everything and you want to cook it all day in a slow cooker, that's great. Uh, we don't do that. If that's something you want to do, uh, we'll have to try an episode and show you how that's done because we've never done it that way. We've always done it the old-fashioned way. Just the way we did it, just the way we showed you. So, y'all stick around. I'm going to let this cool down and incorporate. Ah! <laughs> You're watching your Z Julius. This is Gluey's Move Food with Beef and Veggie Meat Pie. We'll be right back in a few minutes. Stick around. Have a beer on me. Hey, we're back. We got our pies filled. You can see we put all that beautiful mixture in. We put our, our, our pie crust, which is pre-bought. No harm in that. Uh, I'm going to show you. Now we're just going to crimp the ends. Put it like this. You just want to take that pie crust. Crimp it and just keep crimping it around like so. I think you got the crimping down pretty well. Next, what you want to do, just to, what we're going to do is this lets out any of the, um, the steam so that it doesn't boil over. We just want to take a knife and make a few slits like so and then from there just a couple in the middle nothing fancy but it makes it pretty when it comes out Next what we're going to do is we already got one done here. We've got an egg wash, basically just an egg, and we put some uh, a little bit of water in it. You get your egg wash, mix that right up, get yourself one of these, and brush it all over. 
and give it a good healthy dose of this each one tend your Rembrandt just paint it right on paint it on baby paint it on Michelangelo ain't got nothing on this I'll tell you that straight out there paint it on we're gonna do that to both pies you want to get that beautiful egg wash on there too much is never enough on the rim and all that good stuff all the way around get all of it on there I'll put a little more on this make sure I get all these edges here I think that's pretty good I think you'll be happy with that <clears throat> just take a little bit of salt just go over the top just just lightly and what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this in the oven oh and of course can't forget the pepper get yourself some pepper if you want to use cracked pepper that's great too we're just using ground ground pepper there what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put these on some pie plates with a little bit of aluminum foil the only reason we do this is it saves your oven if you have some boil over um, you don't get it on your oven it just goes on the aluminum foil on the pie pan sheet pan sheet pan sheet pan okay sheet pan we're gonna bake this at about 300 um, for about 10 15 20 minutes everything is basically done it's going to heat up all you really want is that top to get nice and brown and golden uh, keep an eye on it because depending on your oven it may take a little longer it may it might not take as long so I'm gonna get these on a sheet pan we're gonna pop these in the oven we're gonna get these bacon now we made two if you're gonna do a deeper uh, dish uh, meat pie then you'll probably only need one but we made two because we're going to share it with some friends that's what we do we make food we share it with people that we love and who appreciate our cooking and so anyway I'm going to get these on some sheet pans I'm going to pop them in the oven you stick around don't forget to put your aluminum foil on the sheet pan you don't even have to clean the sheet pan then you just take aluminum foil pop it in the, in the there trash you go. boom you're done boom this is Galui's meat and veggie uh, meat pie, or beef and veggie meat pie. Mad food. Mad food. This is just good comfort food, and that's what we're all about. So anyway, I'm gonna get these in the oven. Ciao, everyone. Have have a drink on me.